In this video we're going to show you how to do the stem injection technique. This method is best suited for treating trees and shrubs with a diameter greater than 100 millimetres and that are actively growing and not stressed. It also allows for accurate placement of the herbicide with minimal hazard to the environment or the operator. It's always important to wear the right safety equipment. You can find this information on the label. The equipment you'll need is a syringe, a measuring container, a hammer and chisel and a machete. The intention of this method is to place the herbicide mixture inside the actively growing tree, allowing it to move through the sap and into the plant's roots. To find out what herbicide to use, you'll need to read the off-label permit. You can find a link to this permit on Council's online weed ID tool website. Estimate the amount of mixture you'll need. Be conservative. You can always mix more if you need to. With the required amount of water in your jug, pour the herbicide into the mixture. Ensure the herbicide and water are mixed and you're ready to go. Using the chisel and hammer, cut downward at an angle of 45 degrees through the bark and to the soft sapwood below. Because your hands are full with the hammer and chisel, you'll need a friend to help you out with the next part. Immediately roll the back of the blade downward, opening up a pocket in which to apply the herbicide mixture. This method can be completed by yourself using a machete and a syringe. It's essential that you apply the herbicide immediately as you make the cut into the sapwood. You can see here we've penetrated through the bark but we still haven't got through to the light sapwood underneath. You can see the difference between the two cuts we've made. This second cut is perfect. It's through the bark and into the sapwood underneath. The outer sapwood layer is how the tree receives its nutrients. That's why it's important to ensure that you do a series of cuts all the way around the tree, leaving absolutely no opportunity for that sap to flow. Last but not least, it's time for the clean up. You need to dispose of your excess herbicide in a pit. Your disposal pit must be 50 metres away from a water course. Avoid waterlogged areas and be inaccessible by children or pets. The reason for using a disposal pit is to allow the herbicide to be broken down by the soil's natural microorganisms. The size of the hole will depend on the amount of herbicide left over and the rinsings of the equipment that you need to dispose of. Incorporate some of the lime with the soil in the bottom of the hole. And then cover the bottom of the hole with about a centimetre of lime. Wearing all your protective gear, carefully pour the herbicide into the hole. Any containers or equipment used need to be triple rinsed and the rinsings added to the pit. Cover the hole with at least 150 mils of dirt. And then mark the spot. And you're done! This video is only one of several weed control methods available. To see the remaining methods, Head to Brisbane City Council's website at www.brisbane.qld.gov.au.